Hello to you. It is Thursday the 28th of November 2019 and it's Thanksgiving Day in the States and Canada so uh, I'm going to give thanks to all my American and Canadian friends but a happy Thanksgiving to you if that's you. If you're here in the UK, never mind, it's still a great day. Sun is shining really nicely here. Now we've got a Sagittarius moon right this minute in the UK but she's on her way into Capricorn in the States and Canada. That has actually already happened. 4.33am Eastern. Uh, Eastern, 7.33 a.m. Sorry, 4.33 a.m. Pacific, 7.33 a.m. Eastern, and that's going to be 12, third, well, 12.32 and a bit here in the UK. That's much more precise here. And uh, then we're going to get uh, the moon in Capricorn. So things change a bit. We go from the kind of open, wide you know, wide world vision of Sagittarius into a rather more serious, uh, rather more kind of hanging on Capricorn. The Capricorn influence is always about kind of hanging on to what you've got. And that's no bad thing in this world, let's face it. But uh, don't forget those amazing dreams and visions that came in during Sagittarius. Things are still kind of open and, uh, you know, really quite... Uh, I can't think of a word for it, but things are pretty good in terms of uh, just, you know, broadening the mind because Neptune is is out of retrograde. Now, that was the big news yesterday, uh, but it's still a factor today and it actually will be right through until March of next year in a smaller way because uh, things are less practical now. You know, during the Neptune time, although there were many dreams and visions going on, there was a lot of practicality involved in it. Things are kind of a little bit more out there now, um, but just in their normal way, you know, in a normal, healthy kind of a way. So Sagittarius Moon, or probably Capricorn by the time you're watching this, uh, she's 3.9% full as I do this, so she won't go much over 4% today. Um, and we're just coming towards the time when it's good to start launching the plans and the projects that you've made since the new moon and maybe in the week or so before the new moon. Uh, coming up to the Christmas season, of course, and with it being Thanksgiving as well, it is uh, really quite a good time to think about launching things. You could just about start launching them now. I'd wait till tomorrow myself, but that's me. I'm always a bit kind of stuck in the mood with things like that. But there we go. The whole thing of astrology is to get us unstuck out of the mud. So that's the thing to look at. Sun square Neptune, that's been the case for quite a while. Uh, things should be easing a little bit there now that uh, Neptune is out of retrograde. But still, leaders are going to be struggling with making decisions. Uh, we might see kind of scandals, people resigning because of that. That's the sun square Neptune for you. But the moon is conjunct Jupiter. And this is the thing that's always changing. This is the thing you really need to keep your finger on the pole. With. Moon conjunct Jupiter, generosity, benevolence, success, even luck can come up at a time like this and there's nothing quite like luck to make things, uh, you know, something coming out of the blue to really lift things, to really get things moving. Great stuff. But a good attitude is really important. That's what's going to really get situations into a place where people really benefit from them. So if you've got group activities, try and kind of keep looking up and try and keep everyone around you looking up as well. That is the best way today. It's the best way anyway, uh, any day of the week really, or any day of the year. But uh, that's the thing I'm picking up on today. With the moon conjuncting Jupiter, things could get a bit excessive. That is the only thing uh, to be looking out for. Venus trying Uranus, unusual events, firsts, that kind of thing. And uh, Mercury trying Neptune, imaginative conversations. So we really are still able to think quite a long way outside the box, even though the moon is in Capricorn and so many people are trying to hang on. Uh, Mars still trying Neptune, acting on beliefs. Uh, some people kind of might protest, some people might even attack uh, other people's or at least attack their ideology and their beliefs. But there we go, everything else in the chart today is saying positive, 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 as long as we keep on looking up, as long as we keep on believing in it. Well, I'm going to leave it there for now. It's a short one, but there isn't that much to say. I don't, let me just check my notes and stuff in case I've mixed up. Oh, right. Uh, yes, Mercury trying Neptune. Well, yeah, that's happening today. And that's the fourth and the last time uh, of this year that Mercury is going to try Neptune. Um, it tends to make people a little bit oversensitive. But that, as I keep saying, it's a really positive day in so many ways. Uh, but... <clears throat> 
Where people are being oversensitive, we can end up trying to walk around on eggshells uh, to get around them and like, framing our words and our, everything we say in a very careful way so as not to upset anybody. Well, that brings a certain amount of eloquence. It's good practice, but uh, don't let anybody throw a bucket of water on your bonfire today, OK? Keep on looking up. Keep on looking forward. Have a fantastic Thursday, the 28th of November, my friends. I will say it again. Happy Thanksgiving wherever you are in the world. Why not? And I'll see you again very soon. Peace.